Hi, and welcome to Rest Stops, short features to encourage you towards greater life balance. My name is Nathaniel, and here is my opa with today's Rest Stop. Thanks, Nate. Welcome to today's Rest Stop, and thank you for watching. If you find these weekly videos helpful and encouraging, I'd greatly appreciate it and would be honored if you would share them and perhaps consider subscribing to this channel. If I were to ask you what are your most important assets, you might mention your home or your real estate investments, your business, stock portfolio, 401k, or other high dollar possessions. But the truth is, your most important asset is you. As I record this video, the stock market has been tanking and many assets are taking huge hits. If you are sleep deprived and are constantly in a state of sleep deficit, you are devaluing yourself. In my readings over the past four years, the subject of sleep was a major theme in almost every book I read. I was particularly drawn to the chapter of Greg McKeon's book, Essentialism, entitled Sleep protect the asset. He says, the best asset we have for making a contribution to the world is ourselves. If we underinvest in ourselves, and by that I mean our minds, our bodies, and our spirits, we damage the very tool we need to make our highest contribution. One of the most common ways people, especially ambitious, successful people, damage this asset is through a lack of sleep. We've all heard of well-known CEOs and corporate gurus from the 80s and 90s who boasted about how little sleep they got and scoffed that sleep was for the weak and losers. Well, the science is showing how dead wrong they were and how plain stupid that kind of thinking was then and is now. Do you think sleep is a waste of time or just a necessary evil? Multitudes today are exhausted and have been in that state for so long, they think it's normal and haven't experienced what it truly feels like to be rested and refreshed. Sleep is a necessity and must be a non-negotiable if you want rest, optimum health, more creativity, peak performance, higher levels of productivity, and greater life balance. I've made significant changes and adjustments that have resulted in more and better sleep and have benefited and impacted other areas of my life. I have much to say about this subject in future videos, including scientific findings, how sleep or lack of it affects our brains, and the critical role that circadian rhythm plays in sleep and our overall well-being. But to help you get started, here are some things I've implemented that has increased the quantity and quality of my sleep. Establishing an evening routine. Begin winding down at least an hour before your bedtime. Avoid as much as possible eating after 6 p.m. I know that can be a tricky one. Make sure your room is conducive to good sleep by keeping your room cool. Consider investing in blackout curtains and don't allow TVs or devices in the bedroom. Avoid screen time at least an hour, preferably longer, before going to bed. The blue light exposure in the evening can negatively impact your sleep. Avoid caffeine later in the day. Coffee, for instance, has a half-life of six hours. That means if you drink a cup of coffee at 3 p.m., by 9 p.m., 50% of the caffeine is still in your system. Both going to bed and waking up at consistent times are especially important to a healthy sleep cycle. I personally use a blend of essential oils that help to promote sleep. I use the 478 breathing technique to de-stress and calm my body. Breathe through the nose for four seconds. Hold your breath for seven and then exhale through your mouth for an eight count. Do this five to eight times. It works. Make it your goal to get a full seven to eight hours of sleep each night. Good night and sleep tight.